For the first time in its human spaceflight history, China had to launch a spacecraft on an emergency timeline after a cracked window left the Tiangong crew without a safe return vehicle. This video breaks down what triggered the crisis, how China executed a lightning-fast rescue mission, and why this event signals a major shift in global space operations. You'll learn what actually happened in orbit, how the crew stayed safe, and what this unprecedented mission means for the future of human spaceflight. The story begins with a routine expectation. The Shenzhou 20 spacecraft was scheduled to return its three astronauts to Earth on November 5th. Everything was ready, except for one unexpected problem that changed the mission timeline completely. During pre-return checks, China's space agency discovered a crack in the window of the Shenzhou 20 return capsule. Engineers believe the crack was caused by space debris, a growing challenge for every nation operating in orbit. Even a millimeter-sized fragment traveling at extreme velocity can damage critical components, and a cracked return vehicle window presents a major safety concern. With such a component compromised, the spacecraft was deemed unfit for crewed reentry. This decision was not taken lightly. The return capsule is the only part of the spacecraft designed to safely bring astronauts through atmospheric heating and landing. Any structural flaw can threaten its integrity. Declaring Shenzhou, 20 unsafe meant the crew needed another way home, and fast. Fortunately, China had the Shenzhou 21 spacecraft already docked to Tiangong. The Shenzhou 21 had arrived in late October carrying a fresh trio of astronauts for the next long duration mission. That vehicle now had to be repurposed to bring back the Shenzhou 20 crew. By using Shenzhou 21 as a replacement return craft, the original rotating mission plan was upended. Once Shenzhou 21 departed with the previous crew, the newly arrived astronauts suddenly found themselves on Tiangong without any functional return spacecraft docked. This gap lasted for 11 days, an unprecedented scenario for China's program. Human spaceflight protocols typically require a spacecraft to always remain attached to the station as an emergency escape option. Without it, even minor issues aboard the station could escalate in risk due to the lack of an immediate evacuation path. This situation highlighted the complexity of continuous human presence in space. Tiangong is permanently inhabited, and its crews depend on reentry vehicles for safety assurance. A mission plan built around predictable rotations had to be adjusted quickly. The cracked window also demonstrated the increasing challenge of orbital debris management. Over the years, Earth's orbit has accumulated countless fragments from older missions, retired satellites, and prior orbital events. As more countries and companies operate in space, the probability of unexpected impacts grows. In this case, the debris impact didn't harm astronauts and didn't damage the station, but it did disable a spacecraft's most essential component. The incident forced China to confront a scenario it had not yet encountered in its human spaceflight program. For Tiangong's crew, the immediate question wasn't scientific research or mission progress. It was the urgency of restoring a safe pathway home. And that problem set the stage for one of China's fastest and most complex space responses ever. Once China's space authorities confirmed that the crew on Tiangong had no flight-worthy return vehicle, the response shifted into high gear. The Shenzhou 22 spacecraft, originally scheduled for a later mission, was already stationed at the Jiuquan Launch Center along with its Long March 2F carrier rocket. This prepositioning is part of China's safety procedure. A backup spacecraft is always kept on standby. But standby missions typically have a preparation timeline of around 45 days. For this situation, that was far too slow. China's human spaceflight team compressed this entire process into just 16 days, the fastest Shenzhou preparation ever attempted. The decision to accelerate came from the need to restore a safe escape option at Tiangong. The team had to run full system checks, verify life support equipment, test communications, evaluate flight software, and perform structural inspections. Compressing these tasks without compromising safety required round-the-clock coordination between mission planners, engineers, and launch operations teams. On November 25th, Shenzhou 22 lifted off from Jiuquan and achieved its intended orbit. State broadcaster footage showed the spacecraft separating successfully and beginning its journey toward Tiangong. Within hours, it had completed its automated rendezvous and docking sequence. For the astronauts at the station, the arrival of Shenzhou, 
22 restored what they needed most, a reliable spacecraft for future return. But Shinjo, 22 didn't arrive empty. In addition to being the new return craft, it carried crucial supplies. Among them were spare components for Tiangong, medical supplies, and specialized equipment to repair the cracked window on Shinjo 20. That damaged spacecraft still remained docked to the station, awaiting future retrieval. The repair equipment will allow technicians to fully inspect the capsule once it is brought down for analysis later. Shinjo 22 also delivered something that speaks to the everyday reality of crew life. Fresh fruit, vegetables, and treats like cake, steak, and chicken wings. Thanks to Tiangong's space oven, astronauts can warm food in ways previous missions could not. The inclusion of fresh food highlights the increasing focus on crew comfort and wellness as stays aboard Tiangong continue to lengthen. With Shinjo, 22 docked, the station regained a stable operating configuration. The newly arrived spacecraft will remain attached until around April 2026, when it will serve as the return vehicle for the current crew. This ensures that safety protocols, requiring a flight-worthy craft always to be docked, are fully restored. The rapid launch also showcases China's growing capability in human spaceflight logistics. The ability to detect a spacecraft problem, analyze risk, reformulate mission structure, accelerate launch operations, and restore crew safety within days demonstrates operational readiness. It also highlights the long-term importance of maintaining backup systems. Emergencies in space rarely give advance notice, and this event illustrates how quickly mission teams must adapt when the unexpected occurs. Beyond the immediate challenge, this emergency launch carries deeper implications for China's space program and the broader landscape of human space exploration. One of the most important lessons is that space agencies must be prepared for unpredictable situations. The cracked window was not a mechanical flaw or design failure. It was likely caused by orbital debris, a problem affecting every nation operating in low Earth orbit. As more satellites and spacecraft are launched worldwide, the orbital environment becomes increasingly crowded, raising the number of debris fragments. This event illustrates how even small impacts can disrupt mission planning and force rapid adjustments. For China, the incident became a real-world test of its safety infrastructure. Tiangong is permanently inhabited, meaning any interruption in crew return capability is a major operational concern. By successfully launching Shenzhou 22 within just over two weeks, China demonstrated the ability to manage emergencies involving crew safety on a space station it built and operates independently. This is particularly notable because China was excluded from the International Space Station and instead developed Tiangong as its own platform for continuous human presence in orbit. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more details. Thank you for watching. See you there.